What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the quartering end. Some breaking news going on with Activision Blizzard. There's a bit of a, a bubbling up of some stories coming out, and I've had an insider send me some pretty interesting information. Now, if you're not paying attention to what's going on in the video game world right now, uh, The Last of Us 2 came out and everyone's having their fun with that. But also this week has been uh, about a movement in a lot of ways of uh, rooting out scummy people. Now, I want to be very clear. I think most of my viewers will understand this, as it's really been my position since Jump Street. Uh, hashtag believe is a bad way to exist in life. Hashtag believe facts. You know, men lie, women lie. There are absolutely bad actors in this esports space that need to get rooted out. But the collateral damage is something very few people talk about. Uh, the fact that it will ruin uh, careers and lives. And the people on the current modern day witch hunt don't seem to care. Um, there, are, there are men and women both negatively affected by very real actions of their superiors and coworkers. But there are also very real men and women who are negatively affected by false statements. Statements that come out years later spuriously at a time when, in my opinion, some people are out just for attention. We've seen that with game developer Alec Holwaka, who uh, ended up uh, losing the battle, essentially, and, uh, and ending his time here on Earth over, you know, a tweet. Uh, and obviously he had other issues. Uh, but it's important that people understand that there is a lot of collateral damage with these witch hunts. And I want people to really, I want to really remind people to stick to the facts. Um, now, a couple of my Blizzard and Activision insiders have been reaching out to me over the past few days, letting me know that there's something going on at Blizzard. Now, I've known uh, about a couple of spicy situations that came up over the past few weeks, and I never really got around to covering it. Today, I spent some time talking to my insiders and other people who are have a wider, broader reach than me in the gaming industry and asked about a lot of, uh, of about well, really going back to Tyler Rawson. Uh, he is a former Blizzard uh, employee who was really up to some terrible, terrible things. The, I don't know if there is, if I can say it's worse but in a lot of ways, it feels worse because everyone I talked to told me that there were huge industry people covering up for a lot of these folks. Tyler Rawson. And for example, uh, in this case, it was um, Say No to Rage. Um, Bungie came out to personally disavow him, but also said they had heard about it. And so why didn't Bungie do anything it's it's crazy to me you can see in this article by paul tassie on forbes that says the spark that lit the fire this time was allegations made against popular destiny streamer say no to rage a number of women came forward to say they were uncomfortable with their interactions with him uh, which ranged from you know uh unwanted touching to too spicy of dms uh, he ended up apologizing. He was publicly chastised by Bungie and its community team. And it was revealed he had not been welcome at events due to inside knowledge of some of these past occurrences. To me, that's the real problem here. Yes, maybe Say No to Rage was creepy with people. Okay. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be creepy. It's not that hard. It really isn't. Uh, apparently it is for these e-celebs that get a bunch of money and power and then they don't really know how to wield it. Youth plus money minus um, any responsibilities or accountability is usually how you end up with these type of situations. Um, you know, his YouTube channel, I'm not sure if it's, if it's suffered too much, but he did publish an apology, turned off comments, which is always stunning and brave. I don't like doing that. Um, but I guess not a super huge YouTuber, but that doesn't make his story less messed up. Uh, when people come forward with the receipts, I think it's important to honor them. Uh, 
and talk about it. When they don't, I think it's important to remind people that there are situations that lack evidence. Uh, this thing with Tyler Rosen putting out a tweet, last week I was called out on some very serious claims on Twitter. Last Tuesday, Nurse Baymax tweeted about a situation involving me. I immediately reached out to her directly to express my sadness about the pain, trauma, and anger. I admit that I had made other mistakes. A separate instance of unprofessional behavior contributed to my departure from Blizzard in 2018. I've done extensive reflection in the last two years since then and have enacted significant changes in my life, but there's still more to be done. I want my behavior to, I don't want it to make anyone feel uncomfortable. So essentially, you know, former Blizzard employee uh, admits to being uh, a creep. And now you have the replies, right? This is back on June 6th and I missed it. People take me in on this. Lamal, you're done. Is cancel culture still a thing? So I understand if nobody wants to believe there were others, but there were also others. Uh, there are many, many people. This is a culture in these video game companies at the top, I think, when you have youth, money, and a huge lack of accountability. And you end up with these type of situations. Now, if we look at Blizzard is having a little bit of a spicy situation too. You see this last night or yesterday, I'm sorry, at 2.30 p.m. A former Blizzard customer, CM, I'm not sure, community manager, um, was out of line at BlizzCon. He laughed and asked me in, te in text if I was uh, on my uh, visit because there was blood in the bed. Raphael Tracent, you messed so many people and got your ex-girlfriend to try and end herself. We met because I was a Blizzard influencer. <clears throat> they invited me. To a few events, he got a number, got my number and flirted with me. Spent a year trying to seduce me. Got me drunk to the point where I couldn't consent. And I tried to find my way back to my hotel. He forced me into his. I woke up sore and ashamed. I didn't realize. I mean, it's just, it's very, very graphic and um, sad. Again, I wasn't there, you know, and we're only getting one side of the story. It's interesting, you know, but there's more. Here's another one I want to show you that came out. That, that, that's a later story. So much news today. You see, I kind of wish the narrative was more about bad behavior because remember the Blizzard guy who uh, was harassed by his female boss so hard that he almost ended himself and then nothing happened? Blizzard didn't even bother commenting. Here's one from Sarah. These are all in the last 24 hours. All I'm going to say is that in light of Blizzard stuff coming out, I hope each and every one of you who labeled me as just a disgruntled ex-employee or said, yeah, but, or called me overly emotional are burning in, in, uh, in the pain of your own guilt. You're just as complicit. Here's another one. I was a Blizzard intern in 2015. I hadn't graduated yet. Um, you know, you, I didn't want to go through all this, but... Um, I'll start with my negative experience in the workplace. Trust me when I say there are plenty more. Uh, and there's all sorts of stuff here going on. Uh, well, I don't know if all of this is related, but I have now been handed an official notice. I don't know if I can show it on screen. Um, so I'm not going to because I don't want to get uh, sued. But it is a notice from the United States Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. Uh, and this was sent to all, as far as I can understand, Activision and Blizzard employees on the date of May 13th, 2020. So forever ago in internet days, but this was not being reported anywhere. Uh, and it is in reply to important notice for current employees or former employees of Activision. The Equal Opportunity Employment Commission, EEOC, is the government agency responsible for enforcing federal laws against employment discrimination, based on you know, race, color, religion, national origin, age, disability, genetic information, blah, blah, blah. All the in, um, intrinsic or you know, the things that should be protected. The EEOC is investigating Activision in regards to allegations of gender-based or uh, spicy behavior, bad behavior, I'll say, at Activision. The EEOC would like to speak with you about your experience. It goes on to say, if you're willing to discuss your experience regarding 
this at Activision. Please send an email to the EEOC so that we may contact you. I'm not going to show the email. Um, type survey in the subject line. You do not need to uh, type anything in the body. We'll contact you. And then it gives all sorts of information, uh, contact information. Activision throughout this survey refers to Activision Blizzard, Activision Publishing, Blizzard Entertainment, King Digital, and Major League Gaming. So uh, this letter... Also, by the way, it does say the fact that the EEOC is conducting an investigation of Activision does not mean that there has been a violation of the law. Well, I would say that it certainly does mean that somebody's complained. Multiple people have complained in order to launch this whole type of investigation against Blizzard. And uh, what a mess. In a lot of ways, I'm really glad that I live in the Midwest and I don't live out on the coasts where apparently this type of behavior is rampant. Uh, we saw it with Riot Games. We saw it now with Blizzard multiple times. Former Blizzard employees um, getting protected by industry people. All these people that are coming out now and saying, oh, I had heard of this or I knew about, not I heard, but I knew about this. I saw this. I didn't say anything. Like, I understand not saying anything and feeling like it's not your place, but then you don't get to come out years later and, and accept my congratulations for holding on to information that somebody was a piece of garbage and then finally putting it out there. Um, Blizzard's got enough problems going on in the world right now, but I think this is going to add to it. I'm sure that I'll get contacted from Blizzard and Activision employees after I put out this video, so it'll be interesting to see what new information comes to light. But as far as I can tell right now, they are currently under federal investigation for, well, bad behavior. And uh, we'll have to see how this shakes out, if, if they make any of this public or not. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.